Hey everyone, it's Ed from Gamespace here. Have you been working at home for the last year or so? Are you sick of playing at the dining room table or on your carpet or wherever it is that sees you at the bottom of the leaderboards? Well, hopefully this giant package will do you justice. This is the Flexi Spot Ergonomic Gaming Desk with Mouse Mat. It is a height adjustable gaming desk that is specifically built to give you a full table size mouse mat surface on the top. It comes with plenty of gaming accessories, whatever they are. We'll see those when we get into it. And what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox this and do a quick build, see how difficult it is to actually put this together and whether it makes any difference from my cheap £40 dining table I've been using for the last 18 months. Let's be clear, when the FlexiSpot ergonomic gaming desk lands on your doorstep, it's going to do it with something of a dramatic thud. This package comes in heavy, to say the least, at 28 kilograms, as you can see from the uh, effort it requires to unbox here, and help will be required if you're uh, going upstairs or it's more than a few feet from the curbside. Uh, this advice to spare a pair of hands is some of the motif that you're going to see as I unbox and take part. Uh, the contents of this box. Uh, it's also something that you'll repeat throughout your time with the Flexible Ergonomic Gaming Desk if you do buy one, as this uh, gaming focused desktop is a sizable addition to any room, as you'll see a little bit further through this video. Uh, thankfully, it's unlikely though that the Flexible Ergonomic Gaming Desk will come off worse for wear during delivery. Uh, apart from the sizable amount of packaging that you can see we're getting through here, the fully metal frame, what appears to be an MDF workshop with a carbon fiber style coating, um, comes, as you can see, solidly packaged. It's uh, simple enough to tear open. Again, as you'll see, just taking the wrapper off the top, pulling it out, and then cutting through the ties. Um, you'll see it's also fairly well segregated, so you can lay it out in preparation. And the desktop itself comes in two halves, so you don't have one long cardboard tube coming through your door frame. The actual frame itself breaks down into 11 major components with screws, clamps and feet all bagged up separately so that you should hopefully be able to identify them. While many of FlexiSpot's uh, standing and height adjustable desks like the E3 and E2 do follow a similar flow, um, this gaming desk swaps out uh, the flat feet and familiar construction for something uh, a little more aggressive as you can probably see here especially with the legs those uh, raised crossbars and angular edges to the support struts generally give an impression that this has been tailored for a very specific market uh, thankfully as you'll hopefully be able to see that doesn't change flexisbot's approach to construction too much and the included instruction manual as you can see is perfectly clear navigating new owners through the leg construction, central beam and desktop steps. Much of this is simply repetition of left and right. For the most part, slotting together this desk and the components is relatively uncomplicated. Feet screw in, legs connect to the crossbar, and the pre-drilled hold in the desktop make securing uh, everything else something of a cinch. Instructions are straightforward and well illustrated, as was said. It doesn't mean that, however, construction was all that simple. As we've already stated, a second pair of hands is definitely recommended. As you can see, I'm struggling to be able to uh, encompass the entire width of this desk. And certainly for some parts of the operation, the girthy uh, 1.6 meter width of the desktop means that balancing the the baffles and the uh, and the legs across that sort of range is difficult, except for some of the uh, the taller of us. 
I definitely find that I came across some specific issues. Um, as you can see, there are a number of screws here involved in putting the desk together. Now, while that isn't too much of an issue with very clear instructions, um, I did have some problems in that it seems that the bags of screws I was given weren't marked um, in a particularly accurate fashion. It seems they may have come from a different desk or it was certainly not what we would expect and I've heard to expect from Flexi Spot, but it would be remiss of me not to note that. Um, outside of that, though the pre-drilled hole does make uh, the lengthy process of putting together all of these screws you can see here pretty easy and once it was done, everything seems to be well constructed, put together and relatively solid. Um, with the cup holder, cable netting and headphone jack uh, finally being secured, there isn't a whole lot else to do. So after that, we just flip it over, set it up and get to gaming.